We are doing electro desiccation today, which means that we can get rid of any benign lesions that you might have on your skin that you don't care to have on your skin. So we are going to be getting rid of this, what's called the seborrheic keratosis. Again, it's just a benign lesion, but because of its size, we're going, I'm going to inject it with lidocaine because we like to be nice to our patients. So we don't want to get rid of this and have it hurt. So I'm just going to show you the process and I'm going to just do the injection and then Julian is going to be here to actually do the electro desiccation. So I'm gonna go ahead and inject. Are you ready? Uh -huh. Okay. So a little bit, a tiny bit of lidocaine. One, two, three, here we go. Ay, 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 oh la la. I know I hate lidocaine too. It is spicy. Um, so these can be just unsightly. They're very benign. Um, and again, our patient has had this checked numerous times before to know that it is benign um, but we do want to make sure of that prior to taking anything off. Uh, a lot of times people will go to the dermatologist to have them freeze things like this but the issue with freezing is that you really can't control the uh, depth or the width and a lot of times people will get it frozen and it starts freezing the normal skin around the uh, lesion and they won't actually get to the bottom of the lesion. So with electro desiccation, it's essentially just um, burning that little lesion off and we can control the depth and we can control um, exactly where we want to go because you'll see um, how it works in just a second when Julene does it. So um, again, if there's any kind of benign lesions that you just don't care for anymore, let's get rid of them. So essentially what Jolene is doing is she's just scraping that lesion right off the top of her skin. It's very simple to do. Again, the bigger lesions we definitely like to numb for. And after the procedure, uh, she might be left with a little brown spot, uh, but that will heal up uh, in the next day or two. I would tell uh, our patient not to go swimming or do anything that would potentially get that area infected, it's just like an abrasion. Like if you were to fall down and scrape your knee, the same type of thing here. It's just a scraping of the skin. And it's very precise. And you can see how easy this comes off. I love doing this. One of my very first patients, he was older, about 82. And he was getting married and he had so many on his back and he just wanted them all gone for his beautiful new bride. Oh, wow. And they were going on a cruise. So yeah. I don't know, it must have taken me a couple hours, but uh, he was super yeah. happy when we were done. And you know, of course we made sure that he was doing it uh, at least a month ahead of time because we didn't want him to have to be healing during his new yeah. honeymoon phase here. So oh, cute. Yeah, it was really cute. But there we go, super simple. Yeah. And then we'll put some ointment on it, uh, just some antibacterial ointment on it. And uh, we'll see her back in about a week just to check on it and make sure everything looks good. And uh, it's real nice because you can use the electro desiccator to just kind of shave the top off like Jolene is doing. And it makes the skin nice and flat. I mean, we can, yeah, isn't that great? Ooh, yeah. 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 <laughs> You, you need it, you wanted that, right? I yeah, definitely you did. Yeah. And then if there is any bleeding, the electro desiccator uh, will stop the bleeding. So she hasn't bled yet, and there's just a tiny bit of bleeding, but we can show you how the electro desiccator can stop that if it continues. This is the same machine they use in the operating room to uh, coagulate uh, blood vessels when they start to bleed. It's called a hyphricator. It's the very first machine I got. Oh, fun. I know, way back when. Oh my gosh. And of course I worked on my skin tags first. <laughs> I think even before Botox, I got rid of a skin tag. Oh, nice. It was really bugging me under my armpit. Oh, uh, I know, it's a little bit, probably too much information for everybody, but you know, I like to make sure that we do all the things that we do to people. Relatable, right? You know? Yeah. Yep. 
Because yeah. I kept getting it whenever I shaved, you know? It's uh, terrible. Well, then yeah. now I have laser hair removal there, too, so I don't need to be bothered with that anymore. Nice. <laughs> Another nice. great thing that we do. <laughs> nice. And so I'm just going to... Oh, it's going to be so fun. <laughs> I'm going to watch it, too. <laughs> I'm going to watch it. Okay. And we are a little anal about making sure we get all of it. Um, a lot of that is just dead skin, too, so you don't necessarily have to get it all off, you know, as long as we burned it. But, cool. you know, we, we're we very, uh, you know, we like to go over the top a little bit here. So what do you think, sure that we get? What do you think, Doctor? I think it looks... Pretty darn good right there. Let's see what this looks like. I just try try a little bit more right there at the bottom. I mean, I'm sure I think that's dead, but let's just make sure and get that last little bit right there. She's not bothered down there. Yeah, just pick at those right there and pull them away. Yeah, those are gonna flake off now. And then there, there you go. Beautiful. All right, we'll put a band-aid on that. And that'll be a wrap for that silver keratosis. Nice. <laughs>